Less than half of government ministries, departments and agencies are keeping their books of accounts in compliance with auditing standards. This is according to the latest Office of the Auditor General report for the year 2020-2021, which indicates that 54% of government institutions' material misstate misstatements or omissions in their financial statements. As Regina Manyara narrates, none of the county governments is adhering to auditing standards when it comes to accounting for the use of cash from public coffers. The auditing process of national and county government institutions involves auditing the books of accounts to establish if they have been kept according to auditing standards, compliance audit checks if resources have been used lawfully, and performance audit to check the impact the use of the resources has had. That we look at whether even if everything has been accounted for, has been recorded, has been presented well in the financial statements, were the funds used lawfully? Was the use of those funds effective? Was there change, was there impact in the lives and livelihoods of the people? And this is an area I would want to draw your attention to, that when an opinion is clean, don't stop there. Turn the page and look at the area on lawfulness and effectiveness in use of public resources. This is where the stories are. This is where value for money is reported. The Office of the Auditor General has completed auditing books of account for government ministries, departments and agencies, establishing that just 46% of them had their financial statements prepared in compliance with audit standards, with 50% of them having a qualified opinion because the financial statements had misstatements or omissions which were not widespread. And that is where you find our entities very excited when they get a clean audit opinion or an unmodified audit opinion. And that simply means that presentation and disclosure of the operations is put on in the financial statements. But that's not the most important thing when it comes to auditing the public sector. It is not about balancing of figures. It is not about two plus two equals four. It is about what did that four do? In the devolved units, none of the 47 county executives were meeting auditing standards, but 6% of county assemblies were keeping their books according to standards. The county executives, um, if you look at 15, 16, 16, 17, we could not issue any clean opinion. We only had 13 that had qualified, and this has grown to 41. Qualified, as I said, may not have been something to celebrate, but we can celebrate a little that now we have moved away from adverse to disclaimer at the county level to at least auditable financial statements that can give us qualified opinion. She made the remarks during a meeting with the Kenya Editors Guild and the launch of the first Kiswahili audit report. Hivyo, kwa niba ofisi ya taifa ya ukaguzi Tanzania, na Tanzania watu. Napenda kutoa pongezi za dhati kwa mkaguzi mkuu sipe ikadhungu, watangulizi wako, pamoja nafanya kazi wato ofisi ya mkaguzi mkuu kwa mana saai Kenya. Kwa kufanikisha adhima yenu ya kutoa ripoti ya kiswahili, mkiwa na lengu la kuafikishia tarifa watu wengi zaidi. Regina Manyara reporting for Lunchtime News.